At some point today, there were more than 10,000 residents of New York City public housing without hot water. Utility outages are common at NYCHA. This is a story we could cover nearly every day, and that is why the News 4 I team is launching a podcast called Question Authority. This is a deep dive into the city's public housing crisis told by the tenants themselves. Our I team reporter Chris Glorioso has this preview. NYCHA residents are the forgotten of New York City. It seems like whenever you hear a story about public housing in New York, it's about the crumbling buildings, the mold, the rats, the crime. It took us decades to get to this point. In this podcast, I'm going to tell you the story behind the blight. It will take decades to dig out. It's the story of how Tisha Jones watched her four-year-old daughter become lead poisoned in the Bronx. My child has something that she can never get rid of. And who knows how it's going to affect her? And you're telling me it's politics? It's the story of how New York City taxpayers ended up with a $57 million legal bill because instead of fixing the lead problem in Tisha's home, the city fought an order to clean it up. It was just like pushed under the rug, like, okay, yeah, well, your child has lead poison, and like, get over it. We call this podcast Question Authority because in these six episodes, we have a lot of questions for the New York City Public Housing Authority, and we don't hold back on NYCHA's new boss. Let me ask you a tough question, though. There are a sure. lot of tenants right now in NYCHA who want rent rebates. If you were a tenant, wouldn't you want your rent back, too? Yeah, I would. Some of the things that the residents are experiencing are due to uh, our administrative practices, and we need to fix them. But some of the things we're experiencing are due to the age of the buildings. We live in buildings that are dangerous. Nobody's doing anything about getting the gang members out of the building. I feel that this, is, this apartment is killing me. To understand how public housing got this bad, Question Authority goes all the way back to NYCHA's beginning, when these sprawling projects were thought of as high quality, even middle class housing. Part of the problem with NYCHA's history is they came up with one total solution. And maybe that wasn't a good idea. One idea to dig us out of this crisis is partial privatization of NYCHA. It's already started, and this podcast examines the ideological battle over whether private investment could save NYCHA. Keep public housing public! If we move it all into the private sector, we're going to lose a level of accountability. Is there ever a moment in time where you would be in favor of selling infrastructure, not just privatizing the management of a building, but selling the building? That, no. I mean, I have hope for NYCHA. I do. I'm NBC New York investigative reporter Chris Glorioso. This is the story of how public housing broke down in New York City. The most endangered resource in New York is the apartment under $1,000. And what it's going to take to turn the turmoil around. This is Question Authority. Housing for the working poor is too important to lose in New York City, and that is why we created this first-of-its-kind podcast. It covers the causes of the crisis and the controversial plan to resurrect NYCHA. David, Jen, like you, I have covered public mm -hmm. housing in New York City for years, and too often these tenants are forgotten. The purpose of this podcast is to make sure we remember their stories. Indeed, if the human interest doesn't get, sh doesn't get your attention, then perhaps that $57 million tax bill should as well. We all have a stake in this. What was your biggest takeaway after working on this podcast you know, series? I think the biggest takeaway that I hope listeners get is complexity. This is a complex problem. One housing historian put it to me this way. The NYCHA projects, as they were called, well, they were a response to the problems of the tenements, overcrowded, high-density apartment buildings with little sunlight. NYCHA was supposed to offer bigger apartments, more spread out, more green space. But to do that, these projects had to have more front doors, more roofs, more lead pipes, and lots more problems to fix. The repair bill is coming right now. It's about $37 billion. All right. It's so important to hear from these people who are living there and living these issues every day. And they tell the story well. Thank you so much. Check out our new podcast. It is called Question Authority. Listen for yourself. A lot to take in there. There are six parts, about 15 minutes each. You can find Question Authority on our website, NBCNewYork.com, or where you find your podcasts.
Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.